talk about today since a bit's happened, but not a lot. Um, it looks like... Uh, looks like it got unglued. Well, that sucks. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Anyway, um, today started off pretty interesting this morning because my boss, again, won't accept any kind of blame or any kind of wrongdoing. He ended up blaming B1 and B2, the two employees that followed him when he was getting the quote, when he was getting the parking ticket. And he said that B1 and B2 should have stayed in the car because if they stayed in the car, he would have not got a parking ticket because then they could have moved the car and it's their fault. And I said to my boss, is that what you think? And he goes, yeah. He said, if they stayed in the car, they could have moved the car and I never would have got a ticket. <sighs> My boss, he's never in the wrong. He's always, he's always putting blame on the other people, lying, cheating. Always he's innocent. He's never ever wrong. He's always innocent. I mean, what, 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 what do you mean that it's B1 and B2's fault? You parked illegally, willingly and knowingly, and yet you drove and parked there, and yet it's not your fault. It's your employees. Employees? The people, the people you employed, it's their fault. Like, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I don't understand. God, it's so hard not to use name in these videos. Luckily, I, I, I know who they are, but... Man, it is... You're stupid, my boss. Arrogant, stupid, never, never in the wrong. It, it's, it's incredible the way that you are. It is incredible. Anyway, that was today. And today... And tomorrow and Saturday, apparently, I'm working from 6 to 4. Uh, it's a pretty full day. So tomorrow's a full day. Saturday's a full day. Friday could be a full day. It sounds like I'm going to be pretty busy. However, I knocked off at work today around 1? 12.30? 1? I forgot. And we could have kept working... But the boys didn't want to, and then they rang up the boss, and he's like, oh, I can't, you guys just keep working. And he's like, you know, everyone's pretty knackered, which, uh, we could have kept working, but they just wanted to go home. That is funny, whenever boss needs help, where the A team has problems, we have to go and take over their jobs and help them. Whenever the B team has problems, no. Nah. Oh, it's like, where are you? We ring them up. Where are you guys? You could come and help us at Target, as an example. No, no, we're already gone. We knocked off. Or, oh, no, we're busy. What do you mean? What do you mean you're busy? Every time the A team needs help, we have to work our ass off to help you. But when the B team needs help, no. No, it's not good. You're too busy or you've already knocked off. It's pathetic. Um, anyway, I've got to stop. Oh, that's four minutes complaining. <laughs> four minutes complaining about work, so it fell in the sink and then it stopped recording. Anyway, there's four minutes of complaining about work, so I've got to stop. Alright, this part two, I'm going to have to smush these together now because it stopped recording. Uh, uh, around two o'clock, I left and rode straight to the airport. And I got to visit my mum, and I said hello, and we chatted, and then eventually my father got to the airport, picked her up, and drove her home. Actually, not even home, they're still away. They're gone straight away, mum and dad went looking for houses. So, they're not even home. It's like seven, and they're still not home. I know my mum will be complaining about jet lag, and all that sort of stuff, so I don't know why she put herself through all this, but whatever. Um, I have been watching documentaries, really, about Kickstarter and games that have failed. They're not really interesting, but they've been keeping my mind busy. 
Had some great chats with my R1 friend. I think he's losing interest in his Honda project, which I really hope he doesn't. Because he's already spent a lot of money on that project, and he, he knows, and I know, when that project's finished, he will love it. Whether or not he might not love it right now, he will love it once it's finished. It will be a great project. That RC34, I forgot what they are. I used to remember. RCV? RC? NR? No. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I still got that big problem, that big bruising here on the side of my leg. It's been giving me the shit for the past two days. It really hurts. And I still got my broken toe now, or whatever. That's, that's really painful. So today, it's been alright, it's been alright. But yeah, I had a good ride to the airport on the scooter. I had a good ride back. Um, I don't know, that's all I suppose. Wait for mum and dad to get home. Maybe we'll relax. Maybe we'll spend time in separate rooms. Maybe she'll go straight to sleep. I don't know. When my dad got back from France, he was sleeping for like three days. So... I don't know. My dad's excited because he might be getting a job as a mechanic, apprenticeship, or trainee, or something, tradesman, I don't know. I, don't know. Um, I sort of shut him down yesterday. I said, look, there's a lot of younger people than you. Uh, you. You weren't promised a job, so unless you get the job, I don't want to hear about it. Same as my mother of the house. Unless she knows she's buying a house, I'm not interested. So many people were like, oh, do this, this, and then nothing happens. Even I think that, I suppose. It, everyone does it. Um, yeah, but it's alright. You know, uh, everyone in my family's doing alright, and I'm doing alright, and that's all, I guess. I don't know. I feel like there's more to talk about, but I'm not sure there is. But yeah, work, my arsehole boss, mum's back from France, dad could be getting a new job. Me and our one friend had good chats, and mum's home. Yeah. Bye.